Today we're going to talk about how to get the best out of your barber from the terminology you use. And sometimes it's really hard when you go in and you're really not sure what you want and you're really not sure what to ask for. So I'm going to give you a few little pointers on how to get the best haircut because it's about communication when you're talking to your barber because if you walk in and you ask something and that's what you get, there's no going back. So let's talk about that for a second. Number one, I, th I would suggest that you know you prep yourself before you go in the barber shop. You know, be ready when you sit down. Google what you want. Sometimes it's easier to actually show people what you don't want because when you walk into the barb shop and the barber sits down with you, sometimes you can say well, I want to look like this and I want to look like that, but you know, you don't have the right face shape, you don't have the same texture hair, you sometimes don't even have the same color hair. And I think these are all the factors that actually will lead you to being disappointed because when you look at an image, that's the image you want to see. So when you walk out, you want to have a representation of, 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 of what you're looking for. <clears throat> have a look on uh, YouTube, have a look on Google, uh, just typing in, you know, images for men. Sometimes you might f find that you look similar to a certain personality and you have a similar face shape and then you can bring that image in and show the barber and they get a real instant idea of what's in your head. So the idea is that, you know, what's in your head is translated into a visual for the barber because, you know, we can't read your mind and, you know, you, when you walk in and you say, I want a short haircut, well, a short haircut, to one barber is no hair. Literally take it all off. To another barber that could, the hair could be that long. So, you know, short doesn't mean anything. Long doesn't mean anything. Mid length doesn't really mean anything, you know, because it's all about your perspective and it's all about the way that you perceive that length to be. So let's come away from saying, I want short hair or I want long hair. Try not to do that try and have something visual with you and that will really really help you and that will really help the barber because you know it's the same terminology when we come down to you know being married happy wife happy life you know we've got a happy client they're going to come back and we're going to be happy you're going to be happy so point two point two would be to make sure that when you come into the barber shop and uh there's a couple of barbers in the barber shop that work there, but you particularly like one of those barbers. Don't be afraid to be specific. You know, choose the guy that you want. So you'll have a specific guy that you think you've been to or you've been to before, or you like the way he works, or you've sat in the barber shop and you've watched him cut hair, or her, sorry, you know, watched him or her cut hair, and you want that particular person. So don't be afraid to say that you want this guy or this girl to cut your hair because you know at the end of the day it's all about you being happy don't be afraid to ask for a specific barber and that barber will do the best job for you number three when a barber will ask you how you want the back of your hair cut um, do you want it tapered or do you want it round or do you want it square and you really have no clue or concept what they're talking about. The, the, the safe option for me is always tapered. Tapered means that you will have a sharp line either side, keeping it nice and coming in, and then blended in at the bottom. So there's no hard line there. Sometimes the barber won't even give you a hard line on the edges. You know, they, literally the whole thing's tapered in. The whole back of your haircut is blended. So that if you ask for tapered, it means the hair is blended in. There's no definition in the back of your head. Rounded means what it means. You know, if you're having it rounded off, it means that you'll get a slight edge to the haircut at the back. Now, I don't know about you, but I, there's not many people who I would uh, do that on. There's not many people that I would offer that to. I'm perfectly honest with you. It, it creates a really funny shape on the back of the neck and it, it can make it look really, really a weird shape. So there's, it's very rare that I would round anyone's hairline off. 
um, square, a square hairline at the back. Now, some guys like this, and you tend to find that on certain haircuts, you'll get it squared off because it makes it look quite a strong haircut. If you've got maybe a flat, really strong, hard, flat top, and you want it to be really boxy looking at the back, then you'll square it off. And it means that you'll get that square or rectangular shape at the back of your head, and it will make it look a much, much stronger finish. It doesn't tend to grow out as well, but if you want that strong finish, then have it squared off. You know, you can try that because what you can do is you can have it squared off. And if you say to the barber, look, I've never had it squared off. Can, I, can you do that for me? And if I don't like it, can you soften it up? They can soften it up. So you can square it off and then have a little look at it in the mirror. If you're not sure about that, the barber can just taper it out and uh, get rid of the hard lines and, and then you've, you've experienced it. You can see whether you like it or not. So number four, I think number four for me, if you're going in and you're looking for something particular and you like the finished, more choppy f effect to your hair, there's two, two terminologies we tend to use and that's texturizing and thinning, thinning out. Now to thin out your hair and to texturize your hair are two different things. For me, there is a couple of different techniques that I would use to thin hair out. I would maybe use a razor and go through and slice it through and take the weight out of it. Um, or I would use thinning scissors, but I don't use thinning scissors very often. Purely because when you cut hair with thinning scissors is that sometimes you can leave a little bit of a line resting through the haircut and it, if you go too close to the scalp what you end up with is a little tiny short area so sometimes if you've been to a barber and they've gone in really tight on the scalp with a pair of thinning scissors when you run your hands through your hair you can almost feel like a spiky texture to the haircut and you think oh what's that that's actually <clears throat> you know the uh, thinning scissors being taken too close to the scalp so I I tend to use razors or I tend to use my normal scissors and I tend to um, thin the hair out by slicing through the haircut. Now, texturizing is different. Texturizing is when you'll see them pick up the hair and they'll cut downwards into the haircut or they'll cut up and into the haircut. And all texturizing is, is all about when you put a bit of product in the hair, it looks bitty, it looks separated and you'll get a more of a softer effect to your haircut. So if you have got quite fine hair and you like that look, you could ask for it to be texturized, but don't ask for it to be thinned out. Um, if you've got lots and lots and lots of hair, you can ask for both. Can you thin it out because I've got so much hair, but I want quite a lot of texture in it as well. Now, generally when you thin it out, you get texture anyway, but there's different techniques for different ways of dressing out the hair. So if you've got super thick hair, then I would suggest that you know you ask for it to be thinned and then maybe textured on the ends. And if you've got quite fine hair, but you like that messy choppy look, just ask for a bit of texture through it. That's all you need to ask for. And you'll get, you'll get what you need. So there's a few little ideas for you for when you go into the barber shop and you start to ask for, for, for bits and pieces about your haircuts. Because like I said at the beginning of, the, of, this, of this video is that, you know, from a barber's point of view, we work on numbers. You know, our average bill is much lower than if you went to a hairdressing salon. So we need to have the numbers coming through the door and the only way we can do that is by making sure everybody's happy. So if you're happy with your barber, stick with him. Um, go in there, be educated, know what you want, know what you're going to ask for and uh, you'll get the best out of your barber. All right. Be well, everyone. This has been Mahesh for Beard Brand again, and I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Beard Brand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.